this was gonna be the finale, but I'm starting to think I'm gonna do 6.4 million coins. I won't waste your time. Let's hop in. I'm starting on offense. I'm starting with my quarterback. The absolute best value you're getting at quarterback right now is Joe Montana. 90 overall, 200,000 coins. I can spend a little over 100,000 coins on every single player on this team, but that's if I perfectly distributed it. I'm definitely gonna spend a little more on the big positions. Montana is nuts, but he gets two very important things. Number one is hot route master. Not a lot of quarterbacks have hot route master right now. So that's three AP. And then gunslinger, absolutely essential ability. That's five. AP for Gunslinger Hot Route Master on our quarterback. That means we have two AP left to use for the rest of our entire offense. It's kind of expensive, but it's super important. I like run and gun. It's not meta. It's just sick. And Montana's a dog. So Joey Montana, the first purchase on this team, takes us little under 3 million coins. Also, a huge shout out to Dr. Squatch for sponsoring today's video. Dr. Squatch makes incredible men's hygiene products, and their flagship product is their bars of soap. Pine Tar right here is my all-time favorite. And the reason I'm telling you this is they have the biggest deal they've ever done, and it's buy three get three free. So if you buy three bars of soap, you'll get three for free. And there are tons of different scents. Make sure, like I said, to put pine tar in there. But just to name a few, we got bay rum right here. Wood barrel bourbon, cool fresh aloe. There are so many scents. You got to check it out for yourself on the website. But with that deal, buy three, get three free. The math comes out to $4 per bar, which is an amazing deal for Dr. Squatch. They smell incredible. And you can take advantage of that offer by clicking the the link in the top of the description. There is no promo code. Just use that link in the top of the description to take advantage of that buy three, get three free. Try out a ton of different scents. I know you're going to love Dr. Squatch. I've been using their products for years now and I'm never going back. So go to drsquatch.com forward slash MMG. So a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and enjoy the rest. I'm going half back next. This card is absurdly expensive, but it's absurdly good, especially the way I use halfbacks. I I throw a lot to my halfback. I need the speed and I need the juke move. And Kamara has all of it. 91 speed, 90 excel, 90 juke move, 90 changing direction. This is one of my favorite halfbacks in the entire game. He's 310,000 coins. That's expensive. And now we can start cutting back on the budget. At fullback, I'm picking up 86 team of the week. Andrew Beck is a really fast fullback. Not that you really need speed on your fullback. You really only need run block, lead block. But I like this card. I'm taking him. Even with 3.2 million coins, offensive line is not worth it to me. For example, the cheapest 90 overall left tackle is almost half a million coins. The next one after him is 620,000. I can definitely get some expensive guys, but I don't want to go too crazy. I'm going to get a good left and right tackle. I hate getting blitzed off the edge. So we'll go Willie Rofe as my left tackle, 89 overall. And at right tackle, I'm going to take 88 overall John Runyon from the All Madden promo. Going to pick up Redux Gene Upshaw. I'm going to take a Detroit line, Frank Ragnow. This is a really good price for an 87 center, 57,000 coins. This is a really good price for Will Shields. Let's go. 68,000 coins for 87 overall right guard Will Shields. That's my offensive line complete. I've got the interior O-line at an 87 overall. My tackles are 89s, and I've got a 90 overall backfield. Now we need three wide receivers and two tight ends. 88 Marvin Harrison is a really good budget corner. Very, very well-rounded. 89 speed is great. Solid size. 88 Christian Watson, 130,000 coins. But this is basically Marvin Harrison. He's a little bit better statistically, and he's six foot four. Love this Christian Watson card. Definitely gonna pick him up. Final receiver, I'm getting is Hollywood Brown. I love to have a really fast wide receiver in case I'm getting pressed. Because if they're going to press up like crazy, Hollywood's just going to score a touchdown. So there's our three wide receivers. Marvin Harrison, Hollywood, and Christian Watson. I do technically need a depth wide receiver, so I'll pick that up right now. Dirt cheap. I'm just going to take Coralie Tyreek Hill as my fourth wide receiver. Every once in a while, your wide receivers are tired enough that they sub someone in, and you don't want them subbing in like a linebacker. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that, but if you don't have depth at a position, they'll literally pull players off your defense and just put them in at like backup tight end, backup wide receiver. So I don't want to get caught like that. I'll take Tyree Kill. I need two tight ends. I need my starting tight end and I need my backup tight end. Backup tight end, I'm actually going to go Redux Mike Kosicki. I love this Mike Kosicki when I had him on Wheel of Mutt. I know he's a solid card. So I'm going to take him for 60,000 coins. And I'm doing really good on price right now. I'm going to save about exactly half for defense. I've got 127,000 coins to spend on my tight end one. Could spend a little bit more if I wanted to. And I probably will. 
I definitely will because this Kyle Pitts is so fucking good. Oh, this card is unbelievable. Kyle Pitts is the most sucked off Madden player of all time. 90 speed. He's an insanely good wide receiver at tight end. He won't be blocking for you. So if you have a full run game scheme, he's not the guy. All right, y'all. Here's a look at your 3.2 million coin offense. Wide receiver core consists of Marvin Harrison, Hollywood, and Christian Watson. Offensive line is Willie Rove, Gene Upshaw, Frank Ragnow, Will Shields, and John Runyon. A lot of legends up there. Tight ends are Kyle Pitts and Mike Gesicki. That's an 87 overall offense. We got 1.5 million coins to spend on defense. And I have two AP to use. Who's going to get the two AP? Yeah, I might go Kamara. I'm going to give Alvin Kamara freight train. The ability is so good that I just, I have to have it on just in case. And with my remaining two AP, I'm giving Kamara backfield mismatch for better routes and catching from the backfield versus linebackers. I imagine he will get a lot of routes, a lot of receptions. There's not a single Anthony Walker Jr. on the line? Whoa! Middle linebacker prices absolutely shot up. We're going to start with the center of our defense. 88 overall middle linebacker, Leighton Van Der Esch. Division, dude, I swear to God, Leighton Van Der Esch has been getting good Madden cards for 10 straight years. This guy's a dog. He's 6'4", 87 speed, 80 change of direction, and most importantly, he gets the best ability in the game. That's Lurk Artist for 1 AP. Completely changes the game. So for 1 AP, we have a nasty user middle linebacker. For my second middle linebacker, I'm going 87 overall Shaq Thompson. Really well-rounded. Just a solid middle linebacker. I won't be using him, so I just need him to play well on his own for the times that he's in. This is an absolutely disgusting disgusting card. Derek Thomas's 91 is insane, but his 88 overall is insane too. 88 speed, 89 x I mean, you can see it on the screen. This card is so good. Unbelievably good. His coverages are horrendous though, so if you're not sending Derek Thomas at the quarterback, don't get him. I'm gonna rock a budget left outside linebacker. I'm going Dennis Gardick. I like this card. It's nothing special, but I want to save my coins for my DBs. Starting with free safety, I'm going with the 88 Ronnie Lott. This is basically 88 Sean Taylor, except 88 Sean Taylor has 55 man coverage and they cost the exact same. The Sean Taylor is slightly more physical, but you take this Ronnie Lott nine times out of 10. If you're not taking this Ronnie Lott, you better be taking the 91 Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott's just so good. At strong safety, I don't really gotta think about this one. Troy Palamalu, full legend, insanely good stats. 90 man, 91 zone, 88 hit power. So super fast, no coverage liabilities, 123,000 points. All right, so safeties are good. It's time for our corners. I think that there's an all Madden champ Bailey that we'll likely be picking up here. 88 all Madden champ Bailey. Stats speak for themselves, and champ Bailey is not five foot nine either. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter though. I think it was last episode I picked up Darius Williams, and he fucking mossed Megatron. Height is nowhere near as important as it was last year, but obviously if you have two players, they're the same cost and one is taller and everything else is the same, you take the taller one. Uh, I'm gonna go Champ Bailey here. I'm gonna take 88 Charles Woodston, still an absurdly good card. Also, this is an insane price. Fuck, I'm such a fraud. Why am I talking? Oh, that was such a good price. He was at 90,000 and now I'm paying 24,000 more. MM broke, MM cheap, MM homeless, MM food stamps. Fuck! My corners are nuts. My safeties are nuts. I've still got 600,000 coins to spend on the D-line. And that's on purpose because right ends are so important this year. Now, you guys know one of my favorite right ends in this game is Bruce Smith. I swear to God, 88 Bruce Smith, bro. This guy will get to the QB. No questions asked. But we have even more coins to spend here. Like, I could go a little bit bigger, so I will. I'm gonna go with the 90 overall Unstoppables, Miles Garrett. Um, 90 block shed, 91 power moves, and he still has 85 finesse, 92 strength, and 86 speed. This card is unbelievable. Gonna go Miles Garrett there, and we can still afford really solid D-tackle left end. It's important that we get a D-tackle with inside stuff, though. D-tackle with inside stuff will fully change your defensive game plan. You can basically just play the pass the entire game with no no penalty because your D-tackle will ruin most plays. I'm looking up who gets inside stuff, though. I don't want to buy someone and they don't get inside stuff. I did that last episode. Okay, so the cheapest D-tackle that gets inside stuff is actually this Vita Vea right here. 89 overall, Great Iron Guardians, Vita Vea. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Someone take me back to my Madden Mobile days, bro, when I had the quick fingers, when I could snipe like that. Okay, so Vita Vea D-tackle one, he gets inside Side stuff, super important. 180,000 coins between my D-tackle two and my left end. Left end, I'm taking another budget card. I really like this Chase Young. 
For 33,000 coins, this Chase Young is 86 overall Chase Young, 85 speed, 88 excel. He's no Bruce Smith, all right? He's no Miles Garrett, but it'll work. That actually gives me a lot to spend on my second D tackle. Get a solid 88 overall. I might go with the fridge. Yeah. I'm gonna go with William Perry, the fridge, as my second D tackle. He's just a big ass dude, man. Great block shed, great power moves, absurd strength, and he's got 78 speed. These all Madden cards are like too good. Honestly, at least 36,000 coins for kicker punter. Ooh, see, if I had sniped Charles Woodson, I could buy 86 overall Justin Tucker right now, but I am a fraud. So I'm gonna be rocking Martin Gramatica. All right, boys, the final team is complete. An 88 overall. We've got Joe Montana and Alvin Kamara with abilities on offense. That's Freight Train, Backfield Mismatch, and then Gunslinger, Hot Route Master, and Run and Gun on Montana. And defensively, I get to use all of my favorite abilities. I'm so happy about this. So Palomalu's got Universal Coverage Acrobat, sick ability. Vita Vea gets Inside Stuff, one of the best. Ronnie Lott gets my favorite ability in the game, Crusher, for heavy ball carrier fatigue on hit stick tackles, as well as Universal Coverage. And Leighton Van Der Esch gets the undisputed best ability in this game, Lurk Artist, for one AP that 7 AP on defense, 7 AP on offense, and 88 overall team studs everywhere. And we even got a kicker. And I got 17,000 coins to spare because who gives a shit, right? We ball. This team is absolutely nasty. And I knew it. I knew I was in the playoffs. Yes. The 3.2 million team is going into the playoffs right now, baby. Let's have some fun, boys. We're gonna have to lock in. This is gonna be tough. Joe Montana, Rondé Barber, Terry Tate? Wait, you gonna get that Terry Tate to a 90? I'm a casual, bro. We got home field advantage for the wild card playoff, though. I like that. Young Way Ku will kick off to Alvin Kamara. We'll get these playoffs underway, baby. Come on! Color rushing these on, too. Kamara, house this bitch. We're gonna start this drive out on coach's suggested plays. I wanna go one drive without spamming the same shit I always spam. Although here I am running halfback stretch. An MMG classic. Second and 10. Gonna go smash return here. An interesting combo of routes. I'm throwing shit that I don't understand. I'm so stupid. What am I doing? All right, Montana. Oh, I have Hot Route Master. I have Hot Route Master. What am I doing? I'm so not used to having Hot Route Master. Third and 10. Christian Watson. That is Max Crosby in coverage. Watson's almost... I had the juke there. I could have just studied that. Dude, he's got Max Crosby in coverage. I love this. Dude, I could do it again, but I'm going to go Kamara. Second and seven. Who's he using? Let's just send Kyle Pitts underneath. How does that look? Okay, Pitts. I like that. I like that. The horse collar never hurt nobody, I guess. Third and one. He's on Junior Seau. We're past... Oh. That was awkward, but it's a first down. Let's stay hot. Dude, look at this play. Play action X deep out out of I formation. Yo, this gets me fucking bricked up. I love this. What is this play? Who's there? Camara? I love it. Hey, we said we were going to throw to Camara. Dude, that's sick. Wait a minute. That was out of I form what? What was that out of? I form Y off close. Dude, I could fucking run the ball and then pull that out. Oh, I could go either side. Ooh, just kidding. He made a good user play. I'm running the same thing, and I'm getting it this time. Except I'm going to juke inside of this. Why didn't I do that last time? I'm a fraud. <laughs> now look, now we know huddle the same thing, but I'm going to call that play. I'm going to call that play action. Then he's going to scramble. Ah. Uh, see, but he's on Kamara anyway. I got a fast fullback, though. I got an 87 speed fullback. That's five yards out of Andrew Beck. Let's go with the middle. Let's attack the middle here. Andrew Beck, throw a block. I know you don't have that lead block stats. I don't think it'll matter. Hey, great block. Didn't matter. Do I tush push behind Money Montana? His defense is not ready for this. Let's see if he pinches that D-line. He's got it, or Montana's just going to walk this. First and goal. You guys ever watch Philadelphia Eagles football? You know, I got a question for you guys. Are you guys one of those betas who says that the Philadelphia Eagles should not be allowed to do the tush push because it's too good? Or the league should ban it because it's too good? Because I feel like the fucking fraud ass Philadelphia Eagles right now with that bullshit touchdown. Ow! I'm such a piece of shit. Maybe they should ban that shit in the league, man. I'm doing the fake. I never do it, but I'm doing it right here. We ball. Warren Moon. Laser. 
to Kyle Pitts. He's in. Dude, I remember Madden 20 when they came out with these fakes. Everybody was ready for it, right? It's been so long that I think players forgot how good that shit is. 8-0 to zero in the wild card. That's a gutsy play call, but I fucking love it. Come on, boys. Let's advance in the playoffs. Let's start. No, don't you quit. You're in the fucking playoffs, bro. He's going to start out in I-form close. He's got Montana, too. I'm on Van Der Esch. We got Shaq Thomas right next to us. Or Shaq Thompson. My bad. Honestly, we had that. That's just stupid tackling. Arian Foster has a card. He's got jukebox on him. He's going to be running the ball. Oh, we have that bottled Palomalu's over there. Third and four. He's got the whip route. Good ball. Good ball. I got to fix my defense. These don't know how to. Okay. This should be Chase Young. This should be Derek Thomas. Now, I just had to make sure Derek Thomas is always blitzing. Yes. Derek Thomas is on the edge. Dude, I could even use her Palomalu here. Stretch? Don't run a stretch. You will get fucking clamped. Did I, didn't I fucking tell him? Did I, did I not tell him? And guess who it is? Derek Thomas. I asked nicely too. That's what's crazy. I said, please don't. Let's go man. Oh, do I not have a man audible? That whip route's open. It should get tackled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third and two. I tried to go man coverage there. It wouldn't let me. Um, third and two. He might try and pick it up on the ground. Oh, he does. I knew it. I knew it. Good defense. Miles Garrett in coverage. You won't see that every day. Fourth and two, though. There is no way you're running this foot. He's really using the whole clock, too. Trying to chew clock this touchdown? What are you doing? He's going to take the delay of game. I don't know what he's doing. Let's switch to nickel and just play everything. This is weird because I'm putting Gardeck and Miles Garrett in coverage, but I think I have to. I got to cover everything here. Fourth and seven. He's got to attack the middle. Oh, I'm here. The dig, the dig. Oh, and he still throws that. He had an opportunity. I peeled off to the dig. That's just a really hard throw, and he doesn't make it. Wow, let's go. Huge, boys. All right, first and 10. Who's where? Let's go Kyle Pitts. Air mail. Air mail. Air mail. Kyle Pitts. One more. Oh, my God. Retire. Uninstall. Let's go. In the wild card playoff. Holy shit. Off of a drag, bro. Off of a two-yard drag. Kyle, I'm telling you, man. This Kyle Pitts. Unbelievable card. I'm going to try and hit. I don't know. <sighs> Bailed out by Marvin Harrison. Don't deserve those two points. But I'll be honest. I don't think it matters. I need to make a substitution here on 3-3 Cubs. So we got Dennis Gardick on this edge. Let's sub in Derek Thomas. So now I have Miles Garrett off this edge, Derek Thomas off the other, and then Vita Vea blows up any run attempts. He's just fucked. <laughs> Holy shit. Charles Woodson. This game's over. There's actually no way I'm this good right now. I don't even have pick artists. There's no abilities on him. He just fucking broke that tackle. Two-point conversion. I throw this to Kyle Pitts. I missed it last time, but it's going to be there again. There it is. Caught it through the contact. Is there a mercy rule? Is he going to get that screen that pops up and says, hey, I know you're having a tough game? His team is definitely worse than mine, though. It's not much worse, though. He's got the same quarterback. I just, I don't think he has the firepower that I have. He needs a Kyle Pitts. He also needs to not fucking suck. That, that would help. You just got stiff-armed on the return. What is going on? I have so much luck right now. Actually, though, I need to see Wheel of Mutt, dude. How often does Troy Palomalu get a successful stiff arm? What is happening? I kind of feel like I could shut my eyes and throw this ball and probably complete it. I'm throwing it to Christian Watson. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, shit. Guys, that would have been cool, though, if I did it, though, right? It would have been cool, though, right? I say, I think he wants halfback. That's a nice route. A deep out out of the backfield, like a 10 yard out. I think he might've just quit for real, for real. Yeah, he quit, quit. Got his first down and then he's out of there. Is it not giving me that win? Are you kidding? Yo, what? Welcome to Don't You Hate That Shit. Wow, that's Bogue. Wait, wait, you, you shit on a guy so bad that they don't count you the win? It's 24 to fucking zero. How are we not counting that? Look at this. Look at Survive the Playoffs. The game is nowhere to be found. It's not in there. Oh, that's so whack. I guess we'll just we'll just do a little back-to-back -back in the playoffs then. Why not? Let's get another game in. It's a Lions matchup. Okay, so on the field, it's wild card again. So yeah, they didn't count my last game. That's actually so annoying. Like one of my big issues with EA is the head-to-head -head matchmaking system. It's so heavily weighted on wins and losses you know 
Like it's so important that you win and then in the playoffs you can't lose and yet there's constantly desyncs, disconnects or that last guy quit and he doesn't even get a loss. I don't know, it's just Bogue. I've had that problem every year. Certified Dante Foreman's going nowhere. Sorry, buddy, you gotta be on the Chicago Bears if you wanna be moving the ball. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good Lord. You want that Mariota throws a laser down the sideline to Foreman. Shit. I'm gonna blitz Vander Esch. We're gonna come in hot. Get home, Vita Vea. Second and 11, nice work. I think I could send Mike Will Blitz till the end of time, and I think it would work here. You ready, boys? Play action, Mariota. <laughs> he tried to throw that ball. I don't think there's anything open. Third and 11. We're widening out, just playing coverage. Dan Vita Vea is dominating this game. Fourth and 18. Wow, it's going to be two back-to-back -back just cakewalks? Why does he have Mariota at quarterback? That's the real question. One more big stop. This drive is over. Take over on offense and end the game. Hey, that's all you got to do, Ronnie Lott. Let's start out with play action. Is Cal Pitts going to clear over the middle? He sure is. McKinney's not gonna be quick enough. You know, four verticals continues to just be one of the greatest plays of all time. I could throw this to RB. I could throw this to my halfback. Oh, never mind. I led that ball poorly. I can't throw shit to dick. You know what I'm gonna do on this play, boys? On this play, I'm gonna do the most massive, massive throwback. So back in Madden 17, the first Madden I ever played on console, I would always run this play where I would put the halfback on a little curl and I would block everybody. And I'd wait in the pocket as long as I can, then I'd use her playmaker, my running back up the field, and I'd throw it to him. And my running back was always Adrian Peterson. So let's see if we can recreate some of the magic here. It's actually just like this. That's exactly how I would do it. Let's go! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. No, I will say, though, back in those days, uh, man coverage was horrible. You never ran man coverage. Every Wow, that was a fucking piss poor ball. I'm embarrassed. You never ran man coverage. Zone coverage was the meta. So that play was even better because those zones, especially back in Madden 17, were so wonky. Well, it's 6-0 to zero and I get ball a half. It don't get much easier than this, boys. First and 10. Going nowhere. What are the odds I sack Mariota here? Holy shit, I jumped the snap. You know what? Good find. You think I could bait him to throw that? Like, he's going to see me coming in so hot, and he's going to think, fuck, I have to get this out to my halfback, and then I go jump it. Oh, no, but his halfback's blocking there. Ooh, big hit! Charles Woodson! I love Charles Woodson, bro. Lions are going to take a field goal here. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get my two points, so... Smart. I just got a safety. I'm not locked in. This could be a scoregami. Second and 10. Let's get this ball back. Whip route's not open. This isn't open. Does he go to the deep one? Oh my God. He is. Why is he a dog like that? Why is he throwing these crazy passes? First and 10. He's going to hand it off to Foreman, who's going to take a big one. Laser beam. Laser beam inbound. But to whom? To Homestead of Ist, to Alvin Kamara! Woo! Guys, I got the ball back, by the way. Sorry, I was dicking around and I got the ball back and the commentary was so dog shit that I just cut it out. But guess what, baby? Joe Montana's showing why safeties don't fucking matter in the league. I'm gonna run the stupidest fucking play in this playbook and we're gonna score on it. What's the dumbest play in here? Jailbreak slot screen. We're scoring on this right here. My right guard, my right tackle pull to block on this. Pitts, Kamara. And the throw goes to Marvin Harrison. Yeah, that plays bad shit. I'm gonna do it again, though. Kamara's gonna block this time. Come on. Come on. Yes. Good blocks. Good job. Oh! I can see that shit every day. This is actually a crucial two point conversion. I'm up by seven. I'll be up by nine if I convert. We're going to Christian Watson. Christian Watson hasn't seen the fucking rock. There you go, buddy. Huge conversion. Nine point game. Mariota chucks deep, converts. I just got to keep setting pressure at him. He does not do well when there's a lot of heat on him. Does he go Foreman? Does he go Foreman? I think that was a Foreman. 
Little nickel defense here. I'm going to guess pass. I got to go to 12. Oh. Whoa. Chris Olave caught that. I thought for sure Van Der Esch has this. Look at this. No, that's my fault. I'm a step behind him. That's on me. I need to be a step in front of him. I sold that. First and 10. I don't expect him to hand this off, though. And if he does, he's in a lot of trouble. Beautiful. He's got absolutely nothing. Derek Thomas. I'm going to send Derek Thomas here. Guest pass. Same thing. I kind of just got to follow the tight end. I got to follow 88. And now halfback. Come on. Come to the outside. Palomalu makes it third and inches. That's the two-minute warning coming up. Run commit right here. Third and inches. Oh, is he passing? No. They are running. It's to the edge. And Kenneth Walker is going to walk it in. And he's going to showboat. That's aggressive. He can't take the lead here, though. Does not get it. That's big. Little slip screen. Oh, that actually had an absurd amount of room if I was able to get up the field. Second and 13. Let's get down the field, baby. Let's get down the field, Christian Watson. Oh, my God. He was like Montana, seven for nine, two touchdowns. Pretty much throwing anything we want. I have Hot Rod Master. I literally keep forgetting I have fucking Hot Rod Master. Kyle Pitts absolutely torches him too. <laughs> oh my God. I miss being able to do that. All right, dude, this is about the quickest I've moved down the field. Oh, he's, he's open. Should definitely, oh, guess they should be able to get out of bounds. I got three timeouts. I don't got to do anything crazy here. Where's his user? Let's go Hollywood. Get the yards that we can. Jeez. That took a while. I should have called my timeout earlier. To end this, this is such piss poor clock management. Honestly. Might be able to find my boy Kyle Pitts anyway for a touchdown. <laughs> Timeouts don't matter. They don't matter. High route master is so good. Or no, take a 10-point lead or do I extend it? I'm going to extend it. I'm actually going to hand this off to Kamara. I think Kamara is just going to punch this. Easy. Too easy. 22 to 11. Gashiki! <laughs> First throw out of half. Dude, we're just chucking laser after laser. I'm going Hollywood to the end zone. Hollywood end zone here. Get ready. Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. Gashiki to the end zone. You need Lurk Artist! You need it! Dude, linebackers are so shit without Lurk Artist. Yeah, he's gonna quit. I would too. It, 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 that shit without Lurk Artist is whack. Two dubs. Straight to the Super Bowl. Wait, is that? No, because it didn't count my first win. So for the finale episode, 6.4 million, I'll be in the divisional, I guess, NFC Championship, if they actually count this game. Ladies and gentlemen, the 3.2 million team is fucking dominant. So dominant. Hey, GG's boys, I'll see you guys for 6.4 million. Peace.